I can't find myself on YouTube right now. I could type in my channel right now. My channel don't pop up right now. It's going to show you, you all types of... Yes. Well, you must have been talking that shit, bro. I, I know it. <laughs> the greatest American alive. In order to be able to see the most bestest things, you know, you have to have a fast internet connection. Right here where I live at right now, it's 18 megabytes a second. $60 a month for 18 megabytes a second. And you ain't got no terabyte? 18 megabytes a second. <laughs> Download, what's the upload? I don't even Up, upload is two megabytes per second. <laughs> oh, shit, you might as well use your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you got to elaborate, man. How fast is your internet connection? I mean, it's... You got a gigabyte a second. Something like that. Holy bro. Christ, a <laughs> gigabyte a second. <laughs> when we live in a technological age, in order to stream, to watch, man, right, I still get the spinning disc. Boy, I, I like try this. to watch a movie. I still get the spinning disc. Like, I got fucking AOL or some shit. Yes, man. And there's a, it's a monopoly because no one else can come over here. I want to get Comcast, and Comcast says I can't go over there. Mm -hmm. It's AT&T. AT&T, their basic shit is 18 megabytes a second, and it's $60 a month. Well, it's, it's not that it's a monopoly. It's just the fact that they, they don't probably don't see the need to put in the infrastructure so that you can get the higher data speeds but when you when access to information is our it's the doorway to the whole world and yeah. so how in the hell can i experience um whatever these technologies are when i don't even have the connection to do it this is highlighting the world that we're living in right now where some people can see everything in just a blink of an eye and some people have to wait on the spinning disc like i can only imagine during covid these children they had to go to school right and so you yeah. have multiple children in the household trying to stream on their on the little school pads at 18 megabytes a second how the hell are you supposed to do your school work and turn your school work in when everybody is on the same tap and mama's in there in the room screaming i'm trying to watch netflix and you're trying to do homework oh get off netflix yeah yeah mama ain't finger off netflix <laughs> it's crack yeah, yeah it is digital crack we are tech heads i mean whose fault is that ours oh, shit. we we embrace our own destruction because it's so it, it's so good it's like it's like a dopamine hit over and over and over again man it's everything could just be a dopamine hit watching these explicit movies is more better than having a woman because she's going to talk and complain and ask you for things those nasty videos they gonna ask you for nothing yeah i mean it's, it's a shame though like we're watching the collapse of society right now and and no one is in uproar that's because everyone's known we're watching humanity decline in real time and there's no outrage. And that's so crazy to me. I mean, yeah, look look at our president. Look, he's declining every time he's on the stage and everyone's just acting like, you know, everything's just all fine and shit. Like, that, that's our society. That's, we put him there. So it's like, I mean, I didn't put him there, but. Our entire system is based on an uninformed voter. Like, that's what makes our system go. They'll give you some wedge issues. They'll talk about abortion. They'll talk about, they'll talk about gun rights. Those two issues are so hyperbolic that we don't even focus on the fact there are people who don't have high speed internet in America. I mean, people only focus on what's what what they're being targeted with, you know. So this yeah. pro this program and shit is so good, man. It's like it these are the most powerful tools the world has ever seen. With the AI tools? Hell yes, bro. Yeah. I don't care what you're looking at. I don't get to choose what I see on YouTube. Their recommendations feed is so strong. I mean, you can still search. Yeah, you can search. And then right. when you search, I can't find myself on YouTube right now. I could type in my channel right now. My channel don't pop up right now. It's you, gonna show you, you all types of Yes. Well, you must have been talking that shit, bro. I, I know it. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep on popping because yeah. like I think that the only way that you can you can fight back against an oppressive system is to just hey you have to fight back. Yeah, or you can create your own system. I believe that also. YouTube is probably the most powerful thing that's ever existed in the history of the world. Google is part. YouTube is part of Google, and so man, YouTube is Google, man. Let's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, but by terminology, Google is the number one search engine on the planet, and YouTube is number two. Who's number three? Who cares about third place? I do. The same company dominates one and two. I still care about third place. I would ask my <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens when you talk to eccentric individuals. <laughs> it would be in my best interest to be more curious, to ask better questions, to dive just a little bit deeper. Because this thing that's happening right now, if we don't ask better questions, 
we're not even gonna know what happened to us. And so one day we're gonna look up and everything that we knew, all of all of humanity is just gonna be like, bye. So how do we get people to start asking better questions? I think conversations like this, it might lose some people, but it's one of the most organic and honest conversations that I've had because I'm so used to living in a place without high speed internet that I'm just used to it. And there in a lot of people who live here, they have no idea that you can run a gigabyte a second and see everything that you want to see just like that. Have you ever tried to use your phone? Oh yeah, yeah. Most certainly. Uh and just this area, even my phone isn't that great. Yeah, yeah. And with my phone, I go right down the street and all of a sudden this man is popping. I can just the fastest internet, the most clearest things. I'm like, I'll watch my own videos. I say, damn, Fraj Dad, you look amazing, right? And I come over here and I look all grainy. I'm like, what yeah. the hell? Probably just <clears throat> so all the people over here, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they, it, they they hogging that bandwidth, bro. Like 18 megabytes <laughs> a second. We sharing 18 megabytes a second. <laughs> Holy Christ, man. You just laughing like <laughs> <laughs> That's pure insanity. I'm it, trying to, yeah, I'm trying to just imagine that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that's like when fucking DSL first came out. You know what I mean? So now I, I upload my videos using my phone. I put them on my computer. I edit the hell out of the video, and when I take the file, it's probably about a gigabyte, and I upload that boy onto my um, to my phone, and then I put it on the YouTube. Because when I try to do it on this connection, it's going to take about three, four hours. And how long does it take on your phone? Two minutes. <laughs> Man, that's a damn shame. Or well, you might as well just cancel your internet and then Hell just, no, just man. Just tether, you know, because, all day. Because my phone has a cap on it. Like, once you get to, like, uh, 40 gigabytes or something like that, it's, it slows your internet down to the exact same speed. I, I had to fight that fight already. Yeah. I was uploading so many videos that all of a sudden... I ain't had no more data. And I'm like, and they want to charge me more money for more data, more money, more problems. Right. Man, these are the technological problems in America right now. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.